Hey guys, Nurse Kat. Let's talk about our top ICU skills in our ICU crash course. How to stay sane and keep your patient alive. Let's talk about the ventilator. Um, when you first go in to take care of someone who is on a ventilator, look at your patient. Look to see if they appear oxygenated. Ask them if they're comfortable, if they're able to respond to you. If they're, even if they're not able to respond, they're going to be able to relay that they're uncomfortable. You'll see it. Monitors are helpful and provide us with lots of data, but you have to spend time assessing your patient. Write down the settings on the ventilator at the start of the shift. The, the numbers that do not move are your settings, and those are prescribed by the provider and set by the respiratory therapist. The numbers that do fluctuate, that represents data about your patient. Patients with ARDS will likely have settings that are different from textbook normal, when in doubt, verify, clarify, and ask questions. You will get to a place where you understand which ventilator noises require immediate attention and which ones can wait. If you're like me, you didn't get a critical care course of any kind in school, and it was, I felt pretty lost. So, there are some alarms that you'll be able to correct, some that will require respiratory therapy or a provider. Until then, take the time to look at your patient and make sure that they appear oxygenated and comfortable. If either of those is untrue, ask for immediate assistance from someone close who knows more than you do. If all else fails and the patient does not seem to be getting oxygen, detach the vent, attach the bag valve mask device, take the mask part off, and attach it to the endotracheal tube or the tracheal tube to manually deliver oxygen.